So we're going to start off by looking at the law of re reflection, where I equals the incident angle and R equals the reflected angle. Okay, so you can see there on the left the incident ray comes in. The normal is the line, the imaginary line that hits the mirror at 90 degrees or the surface at 90 degrees. And then you've got a reflected ray that, that rebounds off the mirror. And the two angles, I and R, are the angles from the rays to the normal. Light isn't just reflected, it also is refracted. Now what refraction is, is where light bends or slows down. So you can see there that the white light is going through a prism and separating out into all the colors of the rainbow. The red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. If you want to remember those colors, just think Roy G. Biv. Okay, and what happens is the wavelength of light gets dispersed or slows down, red being the slowest up to violet, which is the fastest. So when we look at refraction, we can actually give different materials indexes, so refractive indexes, of how fast light actually can travel through the material or how much it bends. So here is uh, an, a table of them. Um, air is at, at 1.00 refractive index, where things like glass are bigger, and diamond is 2.42, which is the largest on that scale. Okay, so one of the rules of refraction is that if light travels into a material with a greater refractive index, the light bends towards the normal. So, so looking at this diagram, as the light comes in from the top left, it's going first of all through air, which has the refractive index of 1, and it goes into glass, which has a much higher uh, refractive index of maybe around 1.5, and then back into air, which again has a refractive index of 1. So the light starts off in the, in the direction to the bottom right horizontal. It then hits the glass where it gets bent towards the normal. Remember, the normal is that black line in the middle. And the light, instead of going straight, bends towards the normal as it goes through the glass. It slows down. And then as soon as it hits the air again, it goes straight in the same parallel direction as the light beforehand. Okay? And as it, because it's going from glass to air, the uh, rule is basically reversed. It bends away from the normal. Now, the higher N is, the slower light travels through the material and also the, the more that it bends towards the normal. So looking at different materials, water, for example, has a refractive index of 1.33. So compare that to air. It's going to be denser than air and light's going to bend more in water. If we compare that to diamond, you want to know why women love diamonds so much. It's because they shine and they're bright and they refract light really well, making little rainbows and really, um, you know, it makes them really beautiful to look at. Now that's because diamond has a re very high refractive index of 2.42. And that's uh, air again, 1.0. Lenses are made of glass with different refractive indexes, and that's how they actually focus or scatter light. Now, there are two main type of lenses, one of them being a convex lens, which is the one at the top there, and the bottom one being a concave lens. The way you remember it is the concave looks like a cave, okay? So it's got two there. That's known as a biconvex and a biconcave because there's two uh, caves there. Okay, and lenses, as I said before, they either focus or disperse light. So looking at the convex lens, Imagine we send a series of rays through there. There's seven light rays going through that convex lens. If you were to draw normals on the left side of each of those convex lenses, you will notice that refraction follows the rule with lenses too, which means the light bends towards the normal. And then when it uh, comes out of the lens, it also bends away from the normal. So that actually makes the light rays all come together and focus 
and that's known as the focal point. Now, your eyes are, have lenses in them that are convex, and that's when you focus on things, like you're focusing on the screen now, that would be the focal point. The actual um, screen would be the focal point. It's where the light comes together, actually on your retina in this case, to actually give you an image. Okay, looking at a concave lens, a concave lens might disperse light. Now, both um, con contact lenses are made of both convex and concave lens, although it would, they wouldn't look like the lenses there. The lens part is actually hidden within the contact lens. But concave lenses are often used to, to actually restore vision. So that's why you, that it can actually be useful to actually um, scatter light in the way that a concave lens works. Okay, so here are your questions, and I want them done for next week. See how you go. If you have any problems, then uh, come and speak to me. And I want you actually to come up with your own question that's not got anything to do with these questions, or maybe something you don't understand in this lecture, which you can bring to the class. So no, you can write a number seven at the bottom of your questions and, uh, and actually ask a question that you don't understand. Light's